two of the big men standing here with me right now. I feel really protected and I'm sure they felt like they did an awesome job tonight, which you did, guys. This game right here had to be one that you were looking forward to, Cam. You've been with this team since the beginning. You played Damatha on several occasions. How special was this win today? Well, it was pretty much, it was just for the culture of St. John's, the community, the teachers, everybody. A lot of people doubted us. But I wasn't even worried because I know what my team is capable of. Right. It was just, I was just, I was so emotional. My brothers were so emotional all week. And today was just a, like, it's a wrap. Let's go. We flipping in history. The math one all the time, now it's St. John's. Absolutely. It, it's time for St. John's. That's what you're saying. Yes, ma'am. Talk about your play out on the field tonight. You know, they say they eat their Wheaties. Did you eat Wheaties? What did you eat? What did you eat this morning, Cam? How did you get ready for this? What was your breakfast like? Well, thank you. To uh, St. John's parents, we had waffles, chicken, all right, some um, all right, and chicken cheese. and waffles. St. John's parents, they definitely did it. Well, those chicken and waffles definitely helped you out here yes, tonight. Man. Talk about some of your individual plays you made today. What was the biggest play that you made that you're proud of today? Um, honestly, I wasn't even I wasn't even focused on the big plays I made. I was just they trying. all run together, right? <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to hunt. But um, I think getting a sack on third down. So the offense to get the ball back and score. So Absolutely. I think that was a big play on my part. Absolutely. Coming into this game, what was one of your keys to victory? It's been, it's been real. I mean, just finishing. Just, I, I looked so, at my brothers in the eyes. I was I like, really you know where we're from. You know where we could like, come like, from. It's, it's come great. from the guts. Um, so I'm like, you, that, but, you just got to do it. You just got to do it. And you did it, Cam. What's next? Champions. All right. You heard it from this young man right here, Mr. Cam Good. Thanks, Cam. We're going to talk to one of your colleagues here. Caleb, <laughs> we're, we're going to do this name here. Akachuku? Okay, Chuku. <laughs> okay, Chuku. You know, I just kind of destroyed it there. <laughs> Caleb, you're wearing a, a great number here. We talked about a former player who wore this number, but you're wearing it now and you're doing it justice. Talk about some things you are proud of tonight from yourself and your team. Uh, me just going hard, finishing. I feel like I could have had a couple more sacks, but finishing with two and a half sacks. Uh, I, I feel like I played good. Always can, you know, I'm going to watch film on Monday and get better. But I'm proud of my teammates. I'm really proud of my young guys. You know, we're a young team, but like my, my fellow brother Cam Good, he pushes me in practice. I push him. I've known Cam since I was in the fifth grade, and you know, we come from the same neighborhood. So this moment right here is special to us. And our senior game, homecoming, it's, it's a better feeling. And, 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 and like, so we, got, we did anything to get the W today. That's right. I talked to your quarterback, Kevin Doyle. He's not from the area, and he said he doesn't understand the rivalry. <laughs> Do you feel the rivalry? Yeah. Do you understand it? <laughs> what, what does that rivalry mean to you? And, and how much greater did it make this victory today? Um, I know a lot of those dudes on the Mavis team. So just knowing those kids, growing up with those kids, like just makes the rivalry even more, just makes it more juicy. So just knowing those dudes and just, you know, growing up with them, you know, playing against them, it just makes the rivalry a lot more eventful. So, you know, just getting the W, it's a great feeling. And breaking history, breaking the curse, you know, so this is a blessing. Right, right. Now, you played two other teams outside of the state, which were definitely big games for you. Yeah. I know you were looking forward to those games, but was this the one yeah. you were looking forward to? Mm -hmm. Were you proud of your performance tonight? Yes, very proud. You know, it's, it's not even about me. I'm proud of my, I'm proud of my whole team. Like, I just feel as though we're so slept on, underestimated. And you know, everything that St. John's football team gets, we earn. It. A lot of people don't understand or respect us for that, but we do. So, as long as my, as long as I got my bros on my team, all my young dudes. I don't care what anybody else has to say. How was it leading up to this week? How were practices? Were they more intense yeah. um, mentally? What did the coaches tell you all as well as what you were doing on the field? Me being a captain, senior, leader, uh, it was like this This whole, like everything up to this game was emotional for me. This, was, this summer was probably the most emotional camp I've ever been through, you know, just mentally for me. I think my coaches really, you know, just telling me to just lead out there. You know, it was my first time really stepping into a leadership role, being a captain, just taking all that in and just still playing my game, just leading the young guys, keeping those dudes calm. I think once we did that, we were fine. You all's play spoke for itself today. I definitely wanted to get into the emotional part and you laid that out for me and I appreciate it. Caleb, what are you looking forward to? 
right now it's homecoming tonight, so we're gonna enjoy this one. See all my high school mates at the dance tonight, and the Monday we're going right back to work. All right, mm -hmm. I'm sure I'll see you again. St. Yes, John's with the victory 38-22 over the Stags. We'll see them again very soon. Monet Anderson, this is Mr. Caleb. Got the last name? Okay, Chuku. Okay, Chuku. <laughs>